And now, on to one of the last nutrients, but not least, that each and every one of us need every single day. Water. It's actually more vital to life than food. Does anyone know what water does in the body? Well, the thing is, the body can't produce enough of water through metabolism or obtain enough from food to meet all of its needs. So we need to pay attention to what we drink throughout the day to make sure that we are meeting our daily water needs. Because if you don't, it can have really, really negative health effects. Water is in all the cells and tissues of our body. This means that when we are growing, like children, teenagers, pregnant women, we need more water each day to help build these cells and tissues. Water also acts as a solvent, so a lot of nutrients and important reactions in the body actually dissolve in water. Remember when we talked about water-soluble vitamins? These vitamins need water to dissolve and provide your body with what it needs. Water is also a carrier, helping in blood circulation. It's also a lubricant, keeping your joints moist, helping your mouth produce saliva, and maintaining mucus in your membranes and digestive tract. So we talked about not getting enough water. What happens when your body doesn't get enough water? Have you ever heard of someone feeling dehydrated? That means that they aren't getting enough water throughout the day. Signs of dehydration include constipation, headaches, dull-looking skin, tiredness, and a dry mouth. So how much water do you need each day? I'm sure some of you have heard the general recommendation of eight glasses of water a day. And this is a good goal to set for yourself. However, water needs can vary depending on different factors. This includes your physical activity level. So if you play a super vigorous sport, you may need more water. And if you live in a hot or humid environment, you may need more water. And as I mentioned before, as you are growing, you also may need more water. So setting out for eight glasses a day is a good place to start and then adjust it based on your lifestyle. So now let's talk about its water and its role in weight loss. Can drinking more water actually help you shed those extra pounds? Science actually suggests yes, and we'll explore how. Studies show that drinking more water can indeed help with weight loss. But how does it work? And from a, the surface level, it seems kind of sketchy, right? Well, first, drinking water can boost your metabolism. When you're hydrated, your body works more efficiently at burning calories, even at rest. Imagine your body like a machine. Just like a well-oiled engine runs smoother, a well-hydrated body burns calories more effectively. And second, Staying hydrated makes it easier to exercise. So when you're properly hydrated, your muscles work way better and you can exercise longer and more intensely. Think of it like this. If you've ever tried to exercise while dehydrated, you know it feels like you're trying to run on empty. Drinking water ensures your fuel tank is full. Third, water helps remove waste from the body. Proper hydration aids digestion and prevents constipation which can help you feel lighter and more energetic. However, this doesn't mean that after drinking a whole lot of water in one day, you'll wake up the next day 10 pounds lighter. But studies do show that on a long term, drinking more water each day and staying hydrated has overall benefits to your health. All of these benefits combined can lead to weight loss. Remember, it's all about patience and balance and moderation.